Alex Fraser has a network of facilities that surround Melbourne and recycle close to 3 million tonnes of construction and demolition material and glass every year. We reprocess these materials to make sustainable construction products needed for major projects and municipal works in and around metropolitan Melbourne. Clorinda Recycling Facility was established in 2009. It is critical to this network and to Victoria's circular economy. Clorinda has a processing capacity of 1 million tonnes per annum. It is able to recycle a quarter of Melbourne's construction and demolition material and distribute at least 22% of all glass recovered from curbside collections. Over the last five years, Clorinda produced an average of 700,000 tonnes, with a maximum of almost 800,000 tonnes in 2017. On average, Clorinda recycled and sold 630,000 tonnes of road basin aggregate, 62,000 tonnes of asphalt, and 3,900 tonnes of steel per year. Clorinda is ideally situated close to major arterial roads, allowing easy access in and out of the site. Surrounded by 40,000 indigenous trees and a continuous border of landscape buns, the site has been designed to effectively manage visual amenity, acoustics and air quality. On-site activity is screened from external view. The entrance design screens arriving vehicles from site. The site has been recognised by the Clean Air Society for air quality management. An air monitoring station operates at each corner of the site. They use a light scattering technique to continuously monitor air quality, recording at one minute intervals 24 hours per day. Alarms are set well below specified limits. In the event of any exceedance, an alert is sent to site management to immediately resolve. Ample water storage capacity is important, enabling collection of stormwater needed to suppress dust and to achieve the specified optimum moisture content for each product. The site is self-sustaining in its water use. All stormwater flows into the large on-site water storages. At 2.1 hectares, these dams account for 10% of the site's total area. Clorinda is licensed to access bore water and stormwater from the adjacent drain in case on-site storages are depleted. The site includes an enclosed transfer station where commingled construction material is sorted. It has a separate public tipping area for local residents and tradespeople. In its current location, the recycling facility is ideally situated to manage the volume of incoming materials generated throughout Melbourne's southeastern suburbs. More than 90% of the materials recycled at Clorinda are from municipalities across southeast Melbourne. Recent works at Melbourne University's Parkville campus generated tonnes of construction and demolition material like asphalt, brick and concrete. These materials are being diverted from landfill and transported to Clorinda for recycling. On this project, loaded trucks travel for around 33 minutes via freeways and major arterials to the Clorinda Recycling Facility. The Dingley Bypass exit is 400 metres from the site. Upon arrival, vehicles carrying incoming material stop at the Weybridge where their details are recorded by Weybridge operators. Their loads are measured and inspected via overhead cameras to ensure the material is suitable for recycling. Our Weybridge operators are two of the 56 people employed full-time to manage the site's operations. As the truck turns the corner, it enters the facility and disappears from external view. Incoming loads pass through an automatic dousing bar. The large volume of water added, well before unloading, allows seepage through the load to mitigate dust during tipping. At the entry to the tipping area is the load inspection point. The load inspector cites every load to ensure only approved materials for recycling are accepted and ensures safe vehicle separation during unloading. Water cart drivers circuit the site continuously. High volume tanks and water cannons are used to manage moisture content of stockpiles and roads, consistently maintain air quality, and prevent sediment from leaving the site. Rigorous safety controls are in force in the tipping area where recovered material is offloaded for reprocessing. Up to 5,000 tonnes of material is accepted here each day. Excavator operators manage the first steps in the recycling process, which begins with pulverising to break down large slabs into more consistently sized pieces. 
Steel is extracted from the concrete and bundled into a stockpile for recycling. Front end loader operators push the sized material into storage stockpiles. Front end loaders move stored material to the apron feeder, which elevates it to the recycling plant. The apron feeder reduces machinery use and associated emissions. The recycling plant is enclosed in a structure designed to minimise noise or dust emissions. The plant's operator manages production from the control room. The material moves along conveyors and is crushed and screened to meet the particle size distribution compliant with VicRoad's specification. Powerful magnets remove steel pieces and air separators remove any lightweight materials like paper or plastics. Pickers perform an important quality role by removing any remaining objects like wood, plastic or metal. Technicians in the NADA registered laboratory perform comprehensive quality testing to ensure products comply with VicRoad specifications. Additive bins, part funded by the Victorian Government, increase the recycling and distribution of products from priority waste streams like glass and brick. These additive bins accurately meter recycled brick and glass sand into the recycled concrete. This blend of recycled material is processed in a pug mill where the moisture content is adjusted and cement can be added to manufacture a VicRoad specified road base. This infrastructure is recycling 40,000 tonnes or 200 million bottles worth of glass into a valuable resource. We have the capacity to double this annual production. Road and rail projects demand high volumes of road base, manufactured to detailed specifications and delivered on tight time frames. Loader operators and truck drivers work together to efficiently load and deliver material to contractors working on a variety of projects, from housing to municipal works, commercial construction and many of the projects of Victoria's big build. The short distance between the plant and these projects and the immediate connections to freeways and major arterials ensures on-time delivery, mitigating the risk of project delays. It also reduces traffic congestion and carbon emissions. RMIT analysis has shown that using recycled materials in place of extracted resources can reduce carbon emissions by up to 65%. The Clorinda recycling facility has already supplied more than 2.8 million tonnes of material to major projects in Melbourne's southeast, including level crossing removals, freeways and major arterials. Up to 300,000 tonnes of recycled road base is likely to be used in the Mordialloc Freeway. This will reduce carbon emissions by almost 2,000 tonnes, reduce traffic by 900 trucks and preserve natural resources. At only 2.6 kilometres from the project site, Clorinda is ideally placed to supply this big build project. The facility is well positioned to supply upcoming major projects, including the Outer Suburban Rail Loop, North East Link and the South Eastern Roads Upgrade. In addition to the supply of recycled road base, aggregates and sand, our asphalt teams produce around half a million tonnes of asphalt incorporating materials recycled at Clorinda. Our crews pave more than 1,000 kilometres of road every year. They complete maintenance works for cities including Kingston and Bayside with high recycled content asphalt. These products are an important avenue to market for recycled materials. Clorinda is a key contributor to Victoria's circular economy, producing the quality materials needed to build greener roads.